Uh, this is Lewis at Global Marine Networks. Um, today, I'm going to spend some time discussing the differences between two exciting products that we have in the marketplace right now. Uh, that is the Iridium Access Point Wi-Fi Hotspot and the GMN Satellite Optimizer. Uh, these are two devices that are designed to optimize performance over satellite networks. Uh, they do three specific things. One, they have a USB port which allows you to take satellite phones which are USB and directly connect to them via the USB. They're a Wi-Fi hotspot and consequently you can connect to them via Wi-Fi eliminating the requirement of having USB drivers installed on your computer and all the associated issues that are uh, related to driver installation in configuration for computers. So both of them do exactly the same thing this way. They have USB connectors on the front of them to provide USB connectivity to the phones. In addition to that, they have built-in firewalls that allow you to block all the traffic going to the internet and uh, optimize performance over your links. Uh, that is a really big win because these satellite devices run about 20 times slower than a regular dial-up connection and when trying to do email and web browsing, uh, that link is uh, bogged down by competing software programs on your computer that are trying to all access the internet, uh, whether that be a Windows update or an Adobe Acrobat Reader update or whatever, all those programs take away from the available bandwidth that you currently have. So, what are the differences between these two devices? How would you decide to choose one device over the other? Well, that, that's the subject of today's video. We're going to talk about the differences between these two devices. So let's start with the Iridium device. The Iridium device sells for $179. So it's a little more expensive than the GMN Satellite Optimizer, which sells for $150. So price is a different, it's, it's, a, it's a factor. Another factor is the support for the different satellite devices. This Iridium device only works with two phones. It works with the 9575, which is the Iridium's latest offering in handsets. And it also works with the older 9555, both of which are USB type phones. But it does not work with anything else. So for example, if you have a 9505A, it will not work with that. If you have an iSat phone, or a Global Star, or a Thuraya, or anything else, again, the Iridium Access Point Wi-Fi will not work with those particular products. This particular product will only work with the two latest Iridium handsets. The GMN Optimizer, on the other hand, will work with just about any satellite device that you have out there, period. It will work with Global Star, it will work with iSat phone, it certainly will work with the newer Iridium phones. It will work with the older Iridium phone with the optional cable that you acquire. So there's a cable, it's a serial cable that plugs into the phone and allows you to plug it into the USB connector. So this device is, is a little more flexible in that um, it allows you connectivity with all the other satellite phones. Please note that both, of this, both devices require special software in order to work because the firewall on these devices is blocking all traffic except for the optimized traffic and so you need to run special software. And so that brings us up to, the, uh, to another difference between these two particular devices, and that is that the Iridium requires Iridium Access Point Mail and Web, or the GMN Xgate software, Xgate and Xweb software. Note that Iridium's offering of Access Point Mail and Web is a branded version of the GMN software. The difference is that we sell, and our distributors sell the product for a monthly subscription, and Iridium gives that product away for free. So if you buy this particular product for $179, you can have free email over Iridium, but keep in mind that that email service only works over Iridium Airtime, so for example, you could not check your mail over the internet. Xgate, on the other hand, which is our offering, which works on this particular device, uh, works with the, over the satellite link, as well as the internet. So if you were, uh, say for example, a boater at a marina on a boat with Wi-Fi, uh, you could use the internet to check your mail with Xgate, whereas you could not do it with Access Point Mail and Web. So it requires an Xgate subscription. An Xgate subscription normally costs about $20 a month. But given the airtime savings, 
that you incur when trying to do email over the link um, over an internet connection, uh, the uh, $20 is uh, more than paid up for itself uh, pretty, pretty quickly. The optimizer, which is the GMN product, only works with Xgate. It does not work with the Redeem Access Point Mail and Web. And so consequently, when you buy the optimizer, you must buy an Xgate subscription from either GMN or one of the subsidiaries uh, to make this particular product go. Um, getting finally, the other difference between the two devices is that the Iridium product requires 5 volts DC in. So um, if you're going to be running this on a 12 volt system, like from a car or from a boat, um, you would need to get a 12 volt to 5 volt adapter in order to be able to use the device. It does have a battery, so that's very nice. The battery um, does not last very long when used with the 9575 because the USB connector on the 9575 is powered, the, US, the phone itself is powered by the battery on the device, and so the battery wears down pretty quickly. The GMN optimizer, on the other hand, runs on 12 volts. So if you're on a vessel or a boat, you can wire that directly into the boat. If you're in a car, uh, you can just get a 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter and just put it straight into the uh, device itself. It also comes with a battery. The battery runs the device for two and a half hours, which is considerably longer than the access point um, itself. The battery is an option. Uh, it sells for $69 and it is not included. It's the same size as the particular unit itself. I don't have one here to show you, but basically it's the same kind of box that uh, sits on the bottom of this. And it will power the phone and keep your phone charged and the device for two and a half hours. Um, anyway, those are the main differences between the particular products. So when purchasing these devices, either one is highly recommended. If you have Iridium, your only option is going to be to use the, um, the, the if you have an Iridium phone, your options are to use either one of these. If you have something other than an Iridium phone, for example, if you have an Iridium phone in a beam docking station, uh, you would need to buy the optimizer because, again, the optimizer supports all the different satellite devices, whereas the Iridium Cradle Point, I mean, I'm sorry, the Iridium Access Point Wi Fi device only supports the uh, two handsets that are currently in the marketplace. Anyway, I hope that um, sheds some light on the differences between the two products. Uh, you can't go wrong with either one of them, they're very, very good and highly recommended. So, until next time, this is Lewis at Global Marine Networks wishing you all um, a nice day. Take care.